Recently, uh, last year, the city of Olympia and the county declared a state of emergency for homelessness. A year later, we're finally bringing this service to people and we're aiding in hygiene. We are so excited to bring our shower trailer to the public, um, to the homeless in Olympia. And so let's take a look inside. The colored ones are specifically for changing clothes and the white one will be for um, showering. So we'll have numbers here for people to hang their things according to the group that you're in. Um, we've got it spaced out so there's going to be six feet between people and we'll be spraying each stall down after use with soap and water and then after that dries then we'll put BrioTech multi-surface sanitizer and that um, inactivates COVID-19. And so we're sponsored under Brio Earth through BrioTech and they're supplying free products to us to help the hygiene and health of people that need our services. This is where our journey starts, is right here. This is a one inch water hose, 180 feet hose. It goes from the main valve into the two boilers. The two boilers then heat the water process. And then it goes through the whole shower, out through the sinks. Fresh water is usually the first thing hooked up with the generator because it uh, gets the water hot as soon as I can have it hot for the people to start using. Then we put our gray system together. Everything's color coded. It goes into our pump station. From the pump station, it pumps it into the water truck. Then when the water truck gets full, we take it down to lots in Olympia and we dump. We do. This was actually an old firefighter's uh, trailer. It's beyond the fire line for the gentlemen to take showers after they do their firefighting. And this has a disposable towel and it has slippers in it. So uh, you know, being in the community and whatnot, it helps so much. Yeah. Um, just the little things like this are really helpful, and at least it, for my community, you know, being homeless and whatnot. So. In this time of all the stressful, you know, things going on, it's just another benefit that you have. Just because you're homeless doesn't mean you have to be dirty or you have to. <laughs> you know, be looked down upon. You know, it's not everybody is in that same boat. And, you know, it's not a laziness thing. Sometimes having the ability and, and whatnot is the key. It's, it's really nice to actually have something like this uh, for people that don't have the opportunity to shower, uh, get clean. But just having a facility is really a blessing, to be honest with you. What about my immediate community? How do I help serve my immediate community? And this is the way I can. I once went eight weeks without having a shower. And that was a long time ago. I was in a country where it was in the middle of a revolution. So I know that feeling where you just feel outside of society when you're not clean. And it's miserable, psychologically, not just physically, but psychologically. We're going to see the homeless population explode in the next year. Whatever happens politically, this is not going to get better. It's going to get worse. And so we have to find ways to provide people with the means to maintain their dignity and their health and their comfort while they're without shelter. There's three things that we really want to solve. Personal health, public health, and environmental health. We're really looking for dedicated, beautiful human beings to be volunteers. Um, people who have the heart for helping homeless and helping in general. We have a contract with the city of Olympia that's giving us some startup money. Um, it won't last for very long. It's 8,000. We're very excited to have that. Please, if you know corporations, personal um, foundations, anywhere that can help us out, we really need to spread the word and help as many people as possible, you know? It's just so important.